Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the finest Dawn of War Pro Modcast this side of East Yorkshire. And today we have a 1 vs 1 on Antigua Bay. Over in the Imperial Guard corner, we've got Blue Man 52. Whereas over in the Steel Legion corner, we have Dawn of War Pro's Shed. Shed going to be opening up with double Pioneer squads, Steel Legion Guardsmen, Ammunition Bunker and a Generator Plant. Whereas the regular old Imperial Guard are going to go for triple Guardsmen, Tet Priest Engine Seer, a Plasma Generator and a Infantry Command. So Greasy, manly, man-on-man -man action over the blue waters and crisp white-hot sands of Antigua Bay today. Everyone just capturing their nearest and dearest, nothing too crazy in their openings at the moment. Steel Legion going for a couple of Pioneers before going for any of their regular old Guardsmen as these Pioneers are able to capture strategic points as well as build up their own buildings and whatnot. We do have Infantry Command in this nice little nook, which is where you normally see it on Antigua Bay if the Guardsmen are ever on this side of the map. Going straight for their Command Squad, taking into a Ministorum Temple, so we normally see some uh, Psychers for Imperial Guard, but we're going to go for Priests instead. Priests do have a ability where they're able to uh, increase the health regen of any of the lads nearby, as opposed to the Psyker's ability to deny any, well, not any, but but like, it's, it's like about a 15-20% range damage uh, reduction from what I can remember, if memory serves me well. We're going to go straight for Commissar as he meanders over this way to see if he can bash any bits and bobs from the Steel Legion side. These guys Moving around in a group, Pioneers just capturing this place, anticipating some uh, Imperial Guard mischief and nonsense earlier on. So probably go around here just to protect these guys. Capturing these bits of bobs over here. We'll apologise, I'm very, very sniffly at the moment. If you watch the uh, games from yesterday and the day before, mention I've got a bit of a cough. Cough has now subsided. I'm now just sniffling, so I've got like a whole bunch of tissue papers in front of me. Honestly, it's like a teenager's, teenage boy's bedroom at the moment, but so if you hear me sniffling around, it's I'm not dying, I'm just surviving in a way that only one can. Anyway, Command Squad got his priest, got a Commissar in the midst, will increase their morale as well as increase their precision, so I imagine it also increases their accuracy by a little bit. For life me, I can't remember how much by, but it's something, isn't it? Lord Commissar on the field as well. So we'll see what goes on as these guys engage in ranged combat. One guardsman already going down. Command squad going to tie up one of these Steel Legion lads. Whereas the Commissar picking up these guys with a met metallic hand of some description. Before then swapping it straight back to his power sword. A little bit of heresy going on over there. A little bit of magic, a little bit of mayhem from the Lord Commissar. Now if you're wondering what the main difference is between the Imperial Guard and the Steel Legion are, if you notice, we, I don't think I've explained it properly on this channel before, but the Imperial Guard, or the regular Imperial Guard, uh, their vehicle uh, cap is a little bit different in the sense that the amount of vehicles they can get on uh, to the field is based on how much infantry they have. It's a bit like an orc population, where the more lads you have, the bigger guns and tanks you can bring to bear on the battlefield. Whereas the Steel Legion, exactly the same, the only real major difference in their infantry is that they you have smaller squads, but each squad is only worth one squad cap. And you get a maximum of eight lads in there, so... Smaller squads, but more of a spread. Heresy. I think I mentioned that last time we saw the Steel Legion. Anyway, Steel Legion Commissar on the way out. Uh, 85 and 10, compared to 91 and 10 for the regular Guardsmen. Have they gone for tactical control? They have gone for tactical control, so... A couple of upgrades I imagine will be on the way. Gonna go for some flamers, or light flamers, shall we say, on these lads as they get their boots wet. Steel Legion staying around here, gonna upgrade their listing purse as well, anticipating that the guardsmen are going to attack over here, but I do quite like this. Rather than attacking them where they're strongest, gonna go around the side and start bashing this place up. Got one extra priest in the mix, going to be tanking all the damage possible while they're going, and these priests do like to get a little bit close for comfort with their chain swords. Do a lot of damage to these buildings. And by the time these Steel Legions will be able to react, all these listing posts will be going down. Now imagine, while these guys are going this way, these guardsmen will then start attacking this post. Gonna have a infantry command been popped down here, as well as a cheeky plasma generator, just for good measure, in between these uh, bolts of heavy cover. It does seem like one of the priests have gone down. I think that was just the solo priest. Steel Legion going to chase these guys away. Maybe we get a second priest. There we go. Two priests 
one listening post dot com. This day, Lord Commissar chasing them down. Guardsmen falling back. Gonna get a sergeant in the mix as well. Got heavy weapons team. Gonna be setting up. Getting their whole 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 bunker wet, I suppose. But they will start firing at this Lord Commissar. Commissar though is going to do a fair bit of damage to him before running away. Might want to stay there. Just take him down. Oh, never mind. The uh, Steel Legion Guardsman managing to take it down before being burnt to a crisp by the sheer number of flamers being brought to bear by these Guardsmen. One squad losing their morale even with the Commissar in their mixture. Fine squad regaining their priest as they chase these guys all the way back home. This listing post will get a bit of an upgrade. So this will be quite a hard nut for the Guardsmen to crack once this upgrade's been placed in. Although, well, mind you, that being said, this command squad able to just swipe these guys all over, knocking them down. More morale being broken. Might want to move. There we go. Move some guys into the listing post itself. Gonna increase the DPS from this listing post. Might also want to get some tarantula turrets as well. I do believe they've put one. Yeah, they put one down here. Only the strong may serve the. But still, a lot of a lot of resources being put into this listing post. Not sure if it's a wise thing to stay around. I mean, they might be able to get it before the Steel Legions regain their numbers and push them back. Will destroy the listing post yet again. Might go for a decap. There we go. Going for a decap. Now is the time to push these guys out of your base. Mr. Shed. Going to go for a relay station. We'll be able to go for the tier 2 afterwards once that relay station is being built up. That is their tech building, I do believe. Guardsmen looks like they've gone for their tier 2 with their satellite dish on top of their HQ. More Guardsmen on the way as well. Nothing major in the way of crazy builds at the moment. Not seeing any Castakins. Don't really need them though at this point. Castakins for the Imperial Guard and Don War Pro mod. Ideal beginning unit for harassing and taking down these strategic points. But why have that when you can have just two priests? Steel Legion getting some revenge. A field of dead men. As they charge these guys out of their base. Well, this is going on. Some pioneers trying to capture the critical location in the middle. But will be pushed away by the guardsmen. At the moment, I would say that the Imperial Guard have got a bit of an advantage at the moment. They have got both of these relics on lockdown. Urgrin's already, so tech advantage for them. Going to go for some heavy bolter support squads for the Steel Legion. Allow them to be a lot more mobile than their Imperial Guard counterparts. Already got a second squad as well. Ready, Commander. So we'll have to probably have like a creeping barrage kind of push out of the base. Lots of boys here ready to push out over this side to secure this relic. While this is going on, Urgrin's already losing one lad. Grunge the turret can make quick work of this heavy last cannon. We'll also get that last bit of a misplay from Blue Man 52. Fair bit of resource being lost over there. Guardsman being pushed back into the heavy cover over yonder. Might want to wait for these heavy weapons teams to move forward before you get out. Into the way. Got a Scout Sentinel for the Steel Legion as well. Big engagement going over at the moment. Everyone's getting in place. Priest inspiring his men. Ogren's getting close to personal. But then again, these guys, without a priest in their mix, they have got quite. To be honest, I mean, their armor isn't amazing. Their health also is amazing for what they are. We'll be taking off very, very quickly from these distant heavy bolter support squads. And it does look like the Imperial Guard out on the back. But at the moment, trying to build up a listing post over there, but being pushed back to this heavy cover. Might want to go all the way back to over here. They've done a really, really good job at denying this relic for as long as they have. Time to step on their laurels, or not step on, but sit on their laurels a little bit. Go to more defensive posture. I would say personally, in my own semi-professional opinion, one guy's with squad almost close to being wiped out. Might want to pop him in back in the infantry command. Command squad, tanky bit of damage from these scout sentinels. Do you believe that these guys are able to infiltrate themselves? You can tell by these little symbols down here. I think it's when they're in cover and standing still, they're infiltrated. And they also have an ability to toggle their infiltration status for a limited time. Happy bottle squads could push a little bit further up. There we go, look at that. Able to get those guys in. Although, mind you, the Imperial Guard, very, very good with their infiltration detection. All their heroes, including the little heroes as well, are able to spot infiltrated units, as well as their long-range scanners. So won't be an amazing boon for them, but will be enough for the moment. 
Not got the last cannons, only got the just little las rifles on there. Do a, do a fair bit, decent bit of damage there. Might want to move these steel leaders up just a little bit, just a little bit. Do the additional damage, my dude. Get these heavy bolted squads to lay down some concentrated fire on these guardsmen. But mind you, probably focusing on other things. They are trying to capture all these other things. Anything else crazy going on? Pop cap full for the sentinels. Gonna go for a infantry health upgrade as well. Guardsmen trying to blank the steel legions, but being pushed back by those heavy bolter squads. Gonna go for some chimeras. Oh, sorry, not chimeras. Hellhounds. Hell's bells. As the one squad over here is doing a thing. Guardsmen seems to have been wiped over here. 79 and 30 compared to 103 and 50. Did put some guardsmen within the infantry command as well. So I imagine it was not so much of a wipeout, but he's popped all their guys there. Big money coming in for the Imperial Guard at the moment. We'll need to start, the Steel Legion player, we'll need to start getting their, this listing post up online as he is doing at the moment. Get some upgrades there. Scout Sentinel, gonna cause some harassment and mischief for these guardsmen over yonder. Pioneers ready to capture this point. And to be honest, the re reinforcement rate is keeping them online, not for too much longer if they stay around, but will prevent them from getting a squad wipe from these scout sentinels. Steel Legion falling back, back into a more defensive posture, which is very interesting. What's he got planned at the moment? Probably waiting for those scout sentinels to pop. Oh, he's going to go for tier two. Okay, fair enough. He's got his relic. He's almost on parity economic wise. Scout Sentinels are causing a bit of mischief. Haven't got their last cannons at the moment. Do need a tank bunker for that. Could just move them straight past this listing post and cause all sort of mischief in the base. Lord Inquisitor on the field at the moment. Capable of laying down impressive orbital bombardments. Yeah, but I imagine what the Steel Age player is doing at this point in time is going to be. Settling them into the next tier. Focusing on their economy. Playing in the long game. That's that's probably what's going through Shed's mind at the moment. Guardsmen sitting around this light cover. Will force these scouts back as a commander with his plasma. Has he got a plasma fist by any chance? Let me have just a quick a quick look. Yeah, he's got like a little a little plasma churd on, on the back of his wrist. As thick as you like. A lot of guardsmen moving over on this side. Three minutes until taken all victory. Ready to yeah, ride. Lots of guardsmen moving over on this side. Listing post being upgraded. A couple of sentinels trying to hold them back. Might want to move these guys away from this well defended post over here. And start moving them over on this side. We'll lose their listing post once again. Not really reacting to it. Again, just very, very comfortable at the moment. In the base. Go for a personal force field, so I imagine the Lord Commons are so a little bit more protected. We'll lose the economy just a bit. Going for a tank bunker there. Which will now allow these scout sentinels to come out and upgrade with their last cannons. These last cannons will do a hell of a lot of damage if allowed to go off on their own little journeys. These sentinels over here have also got their last cannons as well, so cannon on cannon action. The Scout Sentinels are a lot lower on health. 900 health compared to 1,200. Will, will infiltrate themselves though, so they've got that advantage at the very least. Able to be a bit more flexible in the hit and run. These Scouts are going to turn their attention to these Sentinels. They're still over here thinking, dude, what? What's going on? I imagine is what their thought process would be. Yeah, one Sentinel for the Imperial Guard only gone down. Almost going for a second. Could have chased me if they wanted to. They're going to focus on this heavy bolt of turret. The infiltration been... Oh, no, not detected to that. To it's ran out. A limited amount of time that's on. And the Hellhounds move in. Burning and destroying anyone and everyone in their path. Will force these uh, guys with back. Even the Trojan not looking all that too happy over there. Seeing a Valkyrie thing coming down. A little bit too early. In fact, getting his own. Hellhounds, dear oh dear, a little bit of friendly fire. Trojan going to repair the Scout Sentinels. Do remember that the Steel Legion do not have the ability to repair their lads and lasses and buildings with their own um, pioneers. That's what the Trojan is there for. Heavy Bolter squad just kind of moving off in 
a free pack. One Hellhound going down. Another Hellhound chasing around over here. These Scott Sentinels will have to kill these guys before they get the get all their guardsmen down. Heavy Bottle Squad being unsupported. Does manage to kill a fair whack of guardsmen. But not enough. One squad does get wiped out over there. Tarantula Turret blasting each guardsman in the face with twin link las cannons. Does take a couple of shots to kill the guardsman. I imagine that if one singular guardsman was shot with two las cannons, we'd probably rip him in half. But not everything in Dawn of War is law friendly. We do have some cloaked sentinels in the base as well, going to do a fair whack of damage. Not being upgraded for the las cannons at the moment though. Bit of a oversight there, but the Steel Legion holding their ground. To be honest, I thought it was a bit of a mistake of them playing the defensive game, but then again, I mean, while their economy is 73 and 39 compared to the 108 and 49 of the regular guardsmen, the regular guardsman just isn't spending his money all that much. He needs to get more lads, he needs to increase the squad cap. Just get a unrelented layer of boys on the field. Ready to serve. Get some Lehman Russes out. We do have some Order Malleus, symbol of office going down. Has the... Ah, the Inquisitor still there. For the Inquisition. And I don't know if you saw the game... Oh, it must have been easily two or three months ago. There was a game where we saw a Inquisitor place down a orbital bombardment. My god, the Inquisitor's orbital bombardment absolutely annihilates anything and everything um, that it comes in touch with. So if he's able to get that off in this blob over here and they don't react in time, that could potentially be a whole bunch of boys being wiped out. These scouts are going to go for heavy flamers instead of yes, my lord. Um, uh, last cannon. So I imagine they're just in the business of denying these strategic points and relics. We won't let you down, sir. How start spending his money there, has Blue Man. Going for the will of the Emperor, increasing morale in general, I do believe. Lehman Russ on the field, and these guys are a mean dream guardsman killing machine. Able to get loads of heavy mounted bolters, last cannons, get a vanquisher cannon. Lots of options for your Lehman Russ battle tank in Dawn of War Pro Mod. Bit of a standstill at the moment. I imagine the next engagement, whoever feels most confident, will be the overall winner of the game. Doesn't seem like an engagement's about to start. Valkyrie position, well, Val Valkyrie fire being fired around the backside. Will prevent the Gazman from falling back just for a little bit. God save the Emperor ability going on these lads over here. Lehman Russ charging in and then charging out. Shaking it all about. Steel Legion falling back once again. Tarantula turret focusing on this Lehman Russ over yonder. Pioneer squad just chilling out in the corner. Listening post will probably be taken out again. And a little bit of a lackluster defence really there. I was expecting this glorious last stand of some description. Rather than a little bit of a game of cat and mouse. Although, oh I see, I see, ah. Falling back, leading him into a false sense of security. As these infiltrated scout sentinels moving around the backside. Prime place for firing away at this Lehman Russ. Lots of defensive positions in the form of light cover over here. Heavy bolter squad also firing away in the backside. These guys with their flamers reducing the morale. Last cannons over yonder firing away into Sleeman Rust Tank. What a wonderful uh, fake out I suppose. And these Steel Legion Guardsmen also with some missile launchers as well. Lehman Rust has gone down. Ogrin's going to move around the side but that's a lot of damage for them to deal with. Won't be able to support these guys riding in solo. Will have to be pushed all the way back to this defensive posture. My goodness, what a, what a I will cannot predict the Steel Legion player at the moment. Just when you think you know what's going on, he's pulling out literal Hannibal from uh, Carthaginian flanking manoeuvres going on here. Going for some Catacan quarters on this infantry command. Heavy last cannon chilling out round here. Might want to move that a little bit for odd. Oh no, never mind. He's in range of something. Oh, just a Steel Legion guardsman. One squad. Looks like they're going to go down. That's a bit of a misclick over there. More heavy bolt squads moving forward. No. To be honest, these guys haven't really been... I don't know if they've been worth the money so far. I mean... I wonder what their range... I wonder if, like, if they... If, what, what, what is your range, heavy bolt squad? Ah, fair enough. Fairly decent range, sir. 
Maybe, maybe we've only seen them really being caught out of combat so far. Because at the moment, I haven't really been impressed by their performance in this game. Guardsmen stabbing the building with their bayonets. Sentinel scout going in with the heavy flamer. Does a lot of damage to infantry units. Lots and lots of damage going on over here. Missiles, heavy bolters, Trojan shaking its healing healing stick of aggression and malice. Infantry command has gone down, which is a shame because it had not only an Ogryn upgrade, but also a Kassigan upgrade on the way. Ah. The Inquisitor went down at some point during that engagement. Sentinels decapping the strategic points. Blue Man 52 throwing at the GG. To be honest, with this slow dismantlement of the Imperial Guard from a combination of a defensive line over here and the Sentinels just going around the side. We're under fire. Bit of a difficult thing for him to, to deal with. Trying to constantly crack the uh, the nut that is the Steel Legion. Couldn't quite do it though. He came close a couple of times. But with that rogue unit of Sentinels just causing mischief and malice in the corners of his base. What wasn't able to do all that much. Gonna get a nice final battle before eventually piecing out. But yeah, I re severely enjoyed that game. Showing the power of infiltrated Sentinels. As well as not giving up in the darkest of days on the hardest of nights. Cool, anyway, uh, mine's been Mr. Landshark, but as always, never chop. And I'll see you in a bit. Peace.